In my view, there is only one path to self-reliance. Learn to become a producer and provide for your basic needs. Any experience you gain can never be taxed, withheld, or wiped out like anything in the financial industry. As part of my journey towards self-reliance, I experimented with aquaponic and hydroponics. The idea was simple, grow food all year round and reduce my living expenses. Many years ago, hydroponic information wasn't as abundant, so beyond the basic principles, it was like reinventing the wheel. And it was costly to purchase commercial hydroponic supplies, so I opted to get some plant knowledge and build a system myself. My first attempt was a hydroponic setup. Cool white fluorescent tubes were used for leafy growth and red tubes for fruiting, while PVC pipes supplied the water and a basic fertilizer from the gardening section was used. It seemed too easy at first, but leaves yellowed and blossoms never matured. In my research, I discovered plants would do better with the addition of road and Epsom salts. My romaine leaves tripled in size and took on a dark green healthy appearance. Cherry tomatoes blossomed and produced many delicious fruits. Peas also appeared but were small. My second attempt was an aquaponic system, pumping nutrient-rich fish water to the plants for time before returning clean to the fish. Within a few months, carrots developed normally and were crisp and sweet. I was well on my way to producing food year-round. Then the pests came. All of my hydroponics plants were plagued with an advancing army of aphids. Leaves withered and died on a large scale. Vaseline was smeared between each plant on the grow towers, halting total destruction. I would learn years later that bugs only attack unhealthy plants. So even though my garden was full and green, there were nutrient deficiencies and likely pH problems. Even with its challenges, it gave me a deep sense of satisfaction, and I enjoyed watching the fish grow, knowing where my food came from.